most people in our generation don't think of the actual bird as an animal, or the actual lion as a fruit. Um, either, people mostly think of the electric scooters. The electric scooters, bird and lion, are a new form of public transportation that helps the environment. It's an easy way to get around. But there are many problems, such as people are constantly riding the scooters and then leaving them and abandoning them on the sidewalks and the streets. Another problem is how unsafe they are and how they're not being given a helmet when you pick them up off the streets. Another problem is how many of them are and how they're increasing in number more and more every day. Before I get into the problems, I'm going to explain about the similarities and differences between the two companies. So the similarities between the two companies is that both of them require an app to be used and downloaded on your phone. When you open up the app, it will ask you for a code. So you're going to get the code from the handlebars of the scooters. And then you put in the code, and then you'll be able to unlock the scooter, and then you can ride it. To be able to ride it, you have to scoot your leg three times, and it'll be ready to move. Also, the two companies um, require $1 to unlock the scooter, and it's an additional 15 cents a minute to be able to ride. The differences are that the bird requires or it's 15 miles per hour maximum speed, and the line is 14.8 miles per hour maximum speed. It's not a huge difference, but it's a little difference in the amount of miles per hour. And the bird also is actually safer than the line because the users are allowed to request a helmet to be sent to them, and then they can wear the helmet when they ride the scooter. The line is 37 mile maximum range, so you can only go 37 miles and the scooter will actually stop. Or you can go as long as you want. According to an article called Company of the Year, Bird is the Word, by Will Yakowitz in 2018 and Incorporated, he states that every night a motley swarm of freelance bird chargers must gather all the e-scooters wherever they've been parked or abandoned and recharge them and redistribute them to designated nests or docking stations where the riders can find them. So one of the biggest problems with these scooters is how people abandon them on the streets and the sidewalks and they don't take them to their actual docking stations. An, or an article from the New York Times in 2018 by Nellie Boyle, she states that the company has bucked officials in several cities as it rolls out thousands of scooters across the country, scattering them on public sidewalks and wreaking urban havoc causing both delight and frustration among the residents. <coughs> so this is causing frustration among the residents because there's no room to walk on the sidewalks, and the docking stations are actually all empty because no one's taking their scooters to the docking station. There's no point to even have them. Another problem with these scooters is how unsafe they are to ride. There's no helmets being given to you unless you want to order one from the Bird app. And also there's no lights on the scooters, so when you ride them at night, the cars can't see you. In an article called Adults Are Terrorizing San Francisco by Elliot Brown in the Wall Street Journal, he interviews someone who witnessed a woman who was just barreling down on the sidewalk. She just had not a care in the world. This shows how the people who ride these scooters are showing careless and reckless behavior, and they don't take the pedestrians into account when they're riding them. The birds and lines are also vastly increasing in number, which is causing traffic jams on the sidewalks and on the streets. An article called San Francisco Denies Scooter Permits for Bird Line, the author Elliot Brown from Toronto Star writes how the controversy erupted over riders on sidewalks and clutter created by the park scooters. San Francisco officials are starting to impound hundreds of scooters and they pledge a permit program meant to limit the number of vehicles. This permit program by San Francisco will be beneficial to limit the traffic on the sidewalks and on the streets, and will limit the overcrowding. With all of these problems, many cities are starting to ban the scooters because of um, the overcrowding on the streets and the sidewalks. As explained by an article called Why Bird and Lime Scooters Are Invading the U.S. Cities by Don Resinger in 2018, Tom Sky, he writes that nearby Beverly Hills, California, banned both bird and line for six months in July. The city council rules that the scooters are a safety concern. The banning of the scooters will hopefully bring the cities back to normal and there will be no more traffic jams on the streets and the sidewalks and no more chaos. When I visited my sister at UCSB, that was my first experience of seeing the birds and line scooters all over the 
Isla Vista, all over the little towns. I've never had them in my hometown, or we don't have them here at Top Wally, so many of you might not even see them either. She told me many stories about the different scooters, how people would steal them off the streets and sidewalks and keep them in their house and charge more money than they actually, is only a dollar, they would charge more money for people to ride them. Also, people are constantly throwing them in the ocean because of how frustrated they are with the scooters. As stated in an article called Fed Up Local by Laura Newberry in the LA Times in 2018, she says that they've been crammed into toilets, tossed off the balconies, and set on fire. They've even been adorned with dangling bags of dog droppings. The frustrations of these scooters are causing people to lose their minds and make rash decisions. Now that the two companies have faced all these problems and all the complaints by the people who are using them, and by the residents who live in these major cities, lawsuits are starting to be filed by many major cities, especially in Santa Monica and hopefully in San Diego. According to an article called Bird in Line, the latest great or newest hazard by Jordan Harlan in 2018 in Harlan Law, she writes that the complaint alleges that Bird has repeatedly violated local laws by its lack of proper business license, vendor permits, and failing to pay administrative fines. The, com the two companies are now going to have to deal with the lawsuits or they're going to have to shut down the scooters completely and take them away from the major cities. Thank you.